Hey, I'm going to show how to uh, install Proton VPN on Pop. But first, I want to show you. Um, first, I want to say that I, I tried to put it on um, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, and um, it um, should have worked, I guess, because OpenSUSE supports RPM packages. So. I figured it was going to work on, on, on um, SUSE, so I downloaded the, um, the RPM package, and I guess that was supposed to, you know, install the, um, the, uh, the repo, and um, it, 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 it installed, but I, I couldn't get well, actually, I couldn't get Zipper to install the RPM file. So you download the uh, the RPM file here, and it was supposed to install the uh, the repo. It didn't really work that way, so I X'd out of there, and I went into um into the terminal, and I I, I used Zipper to install it directly like that. Okay, so it installed. And I don't want to go through the whole thing because it, it didn't work. It killed my connection, and I had to kill the, uh, I had to use the kill switch. So it installed, but I wasn't able to really get to. I I, I wasn't able to, and I was able to log in to my Proton account, but I wasn't able to connect to the server. So I don't know. It, it says that it, you know it supports uh, RPM, but maybe it doesn't work on SUSE. I, I don't know. I couldn't get it to work though. Cause I know they use Zipper. Uh, it'll work on Fedora with DNF and RPM, but, su but Zipper and RPM doesn't seem to work. Zipper installed it, but for whatever reason, it just didn't seem like it was going to connect to the server, and I just couldn't get a connection. So, so I tried it on Pop. And it worked there. So I go to my uh, I go to my MX here, and go to my uh, pop install here. So I just downloaded the. Uh, Downloaded the, the Linux dev file. There's a there's a link down here for the dev file. So I downloaded the dev file, and then you're supposed to double click it and have apt install. See so where is it out here? right here so you double click this dev file and that has apt install the repo if you go to your repo manager you'll see the repo there so once the repo has been added then you could just um, use apt to install the program once you've right with this command right here once you've installed the repo so you could then use APT to install the package or the program this way and then I had to just go into my application launch the Proton VPN client and it launches and I had to do some logging in and whatnot and had to log into the uh, had to you know authenticate as root user and, and then possibly Austin had to install, you know, log into my my Proton account as well, which is free. And then once once it um, once it opened, I was able then to connect to the free server, and it worked. It takes a couple of moments here to get going, but it did work before. I should get a list of. Uh, Service to choose from 
free servers to choose from to connect to. Okay, takes a takes a little while. I'm not connected. I don't know if I have to actually go down to the to the United States section, but I just do a quick connect, I guess. I don't know if that would be any different. I guess it's the same. So if I scroll down, it would have been down here would have been the same thing. So yeah, see this worked perfectly. So I'm connected. Now as far as all the ins and outs, as far as you know configuring it and all that kind of stuff. I haven't really gotten much into it, but it, I was able to figure out how to download it, you know, create an account, log in, add the repo, add the package, launch the package, log in to my system, authenticate, log into their account, whatnot, find the server for, for the United States, connect, and it's connected there, and then I just check to see if um. If I was able to open a web page and uh, I was able to do that, it didn't kill my connection like it did on the open source part. So like, that's it. Like as far, like I said, as far as all the real, uh, all the uh, you know configurations and all different ways of using it, I haven't really read up on it. Since somebody mentioned it in the group, I just I just thought I'd give it a shot, see um, see what I could come up with. And this is what I've come up with. It seems to work. It seems to install on pop and launch and you can connect to a server and uh, take it from there on the free side of things and then configure it. You can even use Tor over this as well for double protection or whatever. So that was my experience today with um, Proton VPN. Okay, thank you.